Feud between the Raiders Michael Crabtree and Broncos Akib Talib turned physical as punches were thrown and both players were thrown out of Oakland's win over Denver. Both players were suspended for two games. 0. 56. Englewood. Colo. Denver Broncos cornerback Akib Talib and Oakland Raiders wide receiver Michael Crabtree have each been suspended for two games one day after the two players were ejected from Sunday's game for fighting. Both players plan to appeal the suspensions. If upheld, Tlaib would be suspended for the Broncos games against the Miami Dolphins and New York Jets, while Crabtree would be suspended for the Raiders games against the New York Giants and Kansas City Chiefs. NFL Vice President of Operations John Runyon announced the suspensions Monday night, and each player was notified in writing. In his letter to Tlaib, Runyon referenced Tlaib ripping a chain off Crabtree's neck, aggressively removing Crabtree's helmet and throwing a punch, as well as the two players reigniting the fight for a second confrontation. Runyon added, Such actions have no place in this game and gender ill will between teams, and lead to further confrontations. Single quote, single quote, in his letter to Crabtree. Runyon cited the wide receiver for punching Broncos cornerback Chris Harris Jr. in the stomach on the play that preceded the fight with Tlaib, and said Crabtree's actions with Tlaib triggered a melee and endangered various sideline and league personnel including one of the game officials who was injured trying to maintain control of the situation. Single quote, single quote. Earlier Monday, Broncos coach Vance Joseph called Tlaib's actions unacceptable. Tlaib said he hoped the NFL would consider how it started before handing down any potential discipline. The NFL has suspended Michael Crabtree and Akib Tlaib for their fight which grew to include more members of the Broncos and Raiders during Sunday's game. AP Photo, Ben Margo, Tlaib, Crabtree and Raiders guard Gabe Jackson were ejected with 11 minutes, 47 seconds remaining in the first quarter Sunday. Tlaib and Crabtree were ejected for fighting, and Jackson was ejected for making contact with an official. Joseph said he addressed the incident at Monday's team meeting. It's unacceptable. We can't do it. Joseph said, we can't lose our best corner in a game like that. He continued, it obviously hurt us down the stretch. I told our guys, if we can defuse those things, we have to defuse them. We can't fall into the trap of getting into a fight that ends up losing one of our best players. We can't do it. It's unacceptable. We can't do it. Quote. Meanwhile, in Oakland, Raiders coach Jack Del Rio said earlier Monday he had yet to speak with Crabtree. I'll see him tomorrow, Del Rio said. Del Rio also said at the time that he didn't anticipate Crabtree or Jackson would be suspended. That's for the league to decide, Del Rio said of Crabtree. I would hope not, based on what I saw. I wouldn't think there would be that type of reaction. Quote. Del Rio took to Twitter to share his thoughts after the suspensions were announced. Hard to understand the reasoning for this judgment based on most recent ruling with altercation C. WR Sin and DB Jacks equals zero games suspended HTTPS. T. Co. JH9 C Z R E C P N Jack Del Rio. At Coach Del Rio. November 28, 2017. On a second and six play from the Raiders' 24-yard line on Oakland's second possession of the game, Crabtree blocked to leave during a five-yard run by Marshawn Lynch. Crabtree kept pushing to leave out of bounds near the Broncos' bench area. To leave and Crabtree then exchanged shoves before they threw punches at each other. To leave said Monday that Crabtree threw a punch at him first, as he did in a game last season. Tlaib had ripped a chain off Crabtree before the fight. Because of the previous incident, 
Crabtree had taped the chain to his body before the game. Sources told Schefter, and Tlaib still got it. Several other players from both teams joined in along the Broncos' sideline. Tlaib eventually got a hold of Crabtree's helmet, pulling it out of a crowd, and he tossed it toward the stands. I came out there to play football on Sunday. I don't really know what he came out there to do. He came out here on this extra stuff. So one thing led to another. Tlaib said Monday. It's unfortunate. I wish it didn't happen. But it happened. So just have to move on. Quote. After initially being removed from the group. Tlaib and Crabtree reignited things in the end zone. The second half of it could have definitely been diffused. Tlaib said. That's what I'm disappointed about. The second half of it. The first half. That was him being extra. That's what he wanted. He didn't want to play that game. He wanted to come out and wrestle all day. Quote, asked whether he believed he would be fined or suspended by the league, or both Tlaib said he hoped the entire incident would be considered. I hope the league sees how it started. I didn't come out there to fight or wrestle with him. Tlaib said, Harris said following the game that Crabtree had punched him in the stomach one play before the fight between Tlaib and Crabtree. Harris stayed down on the field after the play because I lost my mind and then, as he walked off the field, motioned toward the Raiders bench that Crabtree had punched him. I didn't defend Chris. Crabtree punched Chris. Next play he came and punched me. So he was on his. Whatever he was on, Tlaib said. Crabtree did not address the media. But fellow Raiders receiver Cordero Patterson said he was not surprised by the fight. We all knew it was going to happen. Patterson said, it was just a matter of time. When everybody was ready, prepared for it, I don't beef on the football field. I love my money too much. You start fighting, you get fined and get kicked out the next week and losing all that money. I really ain't got time for that. Man, so... I just go out there and just try to make friends with everybody. Quote, Del Rio deflected when asked whether, considering the history Crabtree has with Tlaib, he had spoken with his receiver about keeping his emotions in check before the game. We were all about finding a way to beat the Broncos. Del Rio said, that's all. Quote, Joseph said Monday afternoon he wouldn't consider any additional discipline for Tlaib and Wood. Wait for the NFL to hand something down. Tlaib was suspended for one game in the 2015 season for poking Ben Indianapolis Colts tight end. Dwayne Allen in the eye. I'm not sure how it all started. Joseph said, if the league steps in and they hand something down, that's their decision. Internally, no, because I'm not sure how it all started. And when those things start, it's a fine line between once it starts. Not defending yourself. I told our guys I don't want it. But once it happens, how does a guy not defend himself? Punches are being thrown. Helmets are off. I don't want it to happen. But if it does happen, you can't blame a man for defending himself. Joseph continued. I want our guys to simply defuse and walk away. That's what I want. Quote. ESPN's Paul Gutierrez contributed to this report.